Over the years, I've noticed how many successful scientists, actors, businessmen and women, authors and pioneers pay tribute to a teacher who influenced them at a key moment in their youth. Tonight is all about paying that same tribute, but globally. Ladies and gentlemen, join with me now in thanking them all and thanking our own teachers and every teacher from around the world for making things a little better, but sometimes a whole lot better for us all. Thank you. It is with the support of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, that we launched this Global Teacher Prize. One of the ways in which this prize has grown is by a, a, an interest from various governments and bodies all around the world to create their own national teacher prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulate these countries and these leaders for establishing their own national teacher prizes. Growing up in Texas, my mother was a kindergarten teacher uh, for 39 years. So I got to see firsthand the incredible work that she did for students and uh, her son who's standing here now. That's one of the reasons I'm thrilled to be here at an event tonight that is honoring the teachers all over the world. The impact teachers have on young people around the world is one of the most important things in life. As a student, I struggled with dyslexia. I remember from overcoming my own difficulty how important a teacher can be in a student's life. This is why I'm so pleased to introduce to you finalists for this year's Global Teacher Prize. It is my pleasure to announce the top 10 finalists of the Global Teacher Prize 2016. Anna Naurab from Palestine. Akila Asifi from Pakistan. Robin Chorazia from India. Joe Fathery from the USA. Colin Hegarty from the UK. Richard Johnson from Australia. Aya Mohammed from Kenya. Mary Rossi from Finland. Michael Soskil from the USA. Kazuya Takahashi from Japan. I would like to say to each of you, thank you. You beautiful people are an example to us all. A year ago, I stood where you are tonight with the finalists of the inaugural Global Teacher Prize. When I stood on that stage with those 10 remarkable teachers, I couldn't help but think about all the lives they touched in their careers, all the doors they'd opened, all the minds they'd fired. I also thought about how they represented so many, many teachers all around the world whose devoted work every single day is a profound investment in our shared future. So I congratulate the 2016 finalists. I thank all of you for the dedication you have shown and the lives you've lifted. You don't hear it often enough, but your work is truly heroic. As William Butler Yeats said, education is not filling a pail, but lighting a fire. You light those fires. You inspire all of us every day. And I'll bet every single one of you teachers there can name at least one teacher you had that inspired you, that led you to this day. Thank you for everything you do, and congratulations. A good teacher holds the power to influence, inspire, and shape a young person's life for the better. They represent the key to real change in this world. That is why I'm delighted to be part of this event that honors teachers everywhere. I would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum for supporting the teaching profession through patronage of this prize and Sonny Varki and his staff at the Varki Foundation. And finally, I would like to add my congratulations to the 10 finalists of the second annual Global Teacher Prize and to teachers everywhere. Thank you for all your incredible work.
Teachers are one of the only humans in the world whose job is to give life to a life. They start with nothing and turn humans into something. In my mother tongue, teachers means guru. Gu means da me darkness of ignorance and ru meaning bring them into brightness. There is not a ballroom big enough on the planet that could honor all the teachers that have changed this world for the better. Those that are here tonight represents teachers globally. And I fold my hands to thank every single one of you for dedicating your lives to making a change to this thing we call life. It's my honor to present somebody who I believe is doing just that. It is our honor to present His Holiness, Pope Francis, who will give us a very special message and who will reveal to us the name of the winner. Un niño tiene derecho a jugar y parte de la educación es enseñar a jugar a los chicos porque uno aprende a ser social en el juego, uno aprende la alegría de la vida. También felicitar a la maestra Hanan Alejur. We can change the world to the best. If there was ever uh, a symbol of what our great profession is, that lady embodies it. It's that incredible teachers, it inspires teachers all over the world. What's the most important thing to being a great teacher? What's the most important thing? My mom was big on um, why watch somebody do it for you if you can go do it yourself. Your grandfather was one of India's great poets. Um, it feels like education, art, uh, culture is sort of flowing through your veins. The atmosphere growing up was always creative. I mean, with my grandfather being a literary giant in my point of view, and then my parents, and the people that they worked with. So you grew up in an environment from when I can remember of actors, directors, producers, songwriters, musicians, poets, um, you know, all kind of contributing to my upbringing, and they were teaching me along the way. ينتشر في المدرسة والصف والمجتمع عنف خطير يقف في وجه أن نعيش حياتنا بشكل طبيعي. Artesanos de humanidad y constructores de la paz y de encuentro. He pedido a los directores de escuelas que les transmitan personalmente mis saludos y mi aliento por todo lo que hacen como docentes. And thank you for all the work they do. 